Hello! In this video I will show you how to enable, configure and disable the proxy if you need to use it with the Google Chrome browser. I use Chrome on Windows 10, so the general settings are the same as on earlier versions of operating system, only the interface can be different. Also I will show you how to set up a proxy in Google Chrome with the help of proxy control extension, which is more easy in settings than browser in general and more practical, especially if you are working with several accounts and several proxies. Let's start. Open Chrome on your computer. First you need to clear the cache in order to remove temporary files that may interfere with the browser when working with proxies. To do this click on the three dots in the upper right corner and select settings in the menu that opens. The settings window has opened. Click on security and privacy. In the window that opens you need clear browsing data. In a field time range choose all time. Make active all three items and then click clear data. After cleaning you will again be in the setup menu. Now you need the system section. You need open proxy server setting on the computer. Press it. The browser redirects you to the proxy settings on the PC. You need the manual proxy settings section. As you can see use proxy server is now disabled. Turn it on. After that the fields for entering the IP and proxy port become active. Enter the IP and port of your proxy. But I will remind you that if you have free proxies which you found in the public domain then there is no guarantee that they will be functional and ensure reliability. Therefore I recommend purchasing a personal proxy and for this purpose you can buy high quality proxies for Google Chrome on the proxies I.O. Our technical support will answer any questions and select a proxy for your tasks. Now enter IP and port of your proxy and after entering through the Chrome you will be asked for a login and password for your personal proxy which you will need to enter. However, if you still choose public proxies then the entered IP and port are enough. Check the box next to do not use proxy server for local addresses. Click save. Close this window and return to Chrome. Now your proxy is configured and you can use it with the Google Chrome browser. But if you need to disable the proxy then repeat the procedure. Click on the three dots in the right corner, select settings, then in the system section select open proxy server settings on the computer and change the use proxy server window from the active state to the inactive one. Done. Proxy is disabled. If you use standard proxy settings, then the configured proxy will be applied in almost all browsers at the same time. Now I will show you how to set up a proxy through a practical extension from Proxys IO, Proxy Control. You need to install the Proxy Control extension in the Google Chrome browser. To do this, go to the extension store, find it and add it to the browser. When the extension is added, click on the icon with extension at the top. Choose proxy control. You can see a window that opens in which you can select a proxy if it is added earlier. Enable or disable proxy or set up a proxy. There are three ways to add a proxy. Quick, standard and you can also add a new proxy by APK. But today we will consider the first two ways to add a proxy. The first way is standard. You see four fields for adding a proxy. In the first field enter IP of your proxy. In the second field port. In the third and first fields enter the login and password of your proxy if you have a personal one. Or leave these two fields blank if you have a public proxy. When everything is entered click add a new proxy. As you can see proxy which I just entered appeared on top. In this way you can set up as many proxies as you need. Now in the second way to set up a proxy. Fast. On the right you can see one line and the example in what format to set the proxy. Enter in the next way. IP, colon port of the proxy if it is a public proxy. And if it is a personal one then IP, colon port, add, login, colon password. When everything is entered click add a new proxy. As you see your proxy appeared on top. To see all the entered proxies in the extension at the top click on list of proxies and you will see the proxies that you entered. Close the extension and go to the working browser window. Now 
Before you start working with the any resource, you need to click on the icon with the extension and select one of the entered proxies in the list with which the browser will be working. The setup is complete. Now at any time you can switch the proxy or disable it in the browser if you wish. That's all for now. Subscribe to the channel and click like. Bye.